Hey there, guys. Floodmon14. Uh, yeah, I was working on a uh, turn count goal, like I said, but uh, I figured I'd cut in here because, uh, yeah, Rex, Rex is down to like 50 life points. Uh, just kind of showing you guys the lay of the field. But the, uh, the AI is pretty weird when it comes to Aqua Dragon, so, you know, he may end the goal right here. So, anyway. Okay, so he actually moved back, so... But maybe that card behind him will attack. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I actually thought he, he took himself out the last turn, but uh, I'm definitely glad, like, uh, I got lucky and he got down to 50 life points. That way, you know, <laughs> I can at least show you guys, you know, the end of the duel there, so... All right. Uh, with that being done, uh, we'll do the... Uh, do the graveyard slot machine here, and then, uh, uh, oh, right, we'll try to reincarnate, um, last time we got lucky, you know, we got a pretty good reincarnation right away, but, uh, and we'll see what we'll get this time, you know, depending, depending how long it takes, you know, we'll reset a couple times, and then, uh, uh, maybe we'll do just, like, one duel, call it good, you know. Alright, so it's uh, 3.55 right now, okay, okay, alright, and uh, yeah, I doubt I'll get any ranks up, you know, since uh, I didn't take out all the turns, but uh, yeah, there will be a lot of cards here in the slots though, so yeah, uh, I guess we'll try for three in a row here, okay, little D it is, by one. Wow. I was close there. Oh, man. I was so close. <laughs> all right. It's all good, though. We got plenty of Rexus cards, though, so probably best to go for three in a row anytime we fight him or Weevil. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Let's save here. Uh -huh. All right. And let's do something around... I'm thinking something around, like... 21 deck cost. It might be good. Um, what do we have, like, a lot of copies of? Uh, let's check the 18s. Oh, we got, like, six little D. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, let's try this. Let's try this. Uh, ooh, that might be a pretty good card, from what I remember. Uh, Morphing Jar. <laughs> Seeing a lot of use. Ooh, yes. Okay, we're definitely keeping this one. We got a dragon. Kamori dragon. All right. Pretty good reincarnation overall. Two rocks and a dragon. Not bad. Not bad. But anyway. Uh, yeah, check this card out. Pop the trick. 13 deck cost. It's a really good effect in this game, to be quite honest, from what I remember. Uh, yeah, yeah. When this card is flipped face up, all your spell buying. Oh, sorry. All your spellbound cards are free. And are able to move at the start of your next turn. Yeah, that's pretty good for countering. Um, like, because you know, Panic has a. Uh, or Darkness Ruler has Time Seal, which can infinitely spellbind you and kind of ruin your day. Also, you know, a lot of his traps spell, spellbind you. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty good for countering that and being able to free a monster that's infinitely spellbound. Very, very good. Okay. So, with that, uh, like I said, normally I don't deck it in the middle of the episode. But let's just, uh, for the sake of convenience, let's take out Mesmeric Control and uh, Morphin Jar. So unpot the trick and Kamori Dragon. Yeah, nice. And I'll mess with the deck in between episodes. Probably put uh, Mesmeric Control back in. Uh, yeah, so. Or, uh, you know. Yeah, Mesmeric Control is pretty good, so I'll definitely put it at least in one deck. Um, let's see, we haven't taken on Bandit Keith in a while, so you know what? Uh, let's go up to Keith. So, alright. Let's do it. Alright, we finally got another dragon. Kamori Dragon. Yeah, that's pretty lucky, honestly, that we got that, because uh, it's like 27 deck costs, and we reincarnated uh, something that was like 18. Ooh, eye armor. Wow, this is a good first hand versus Keith. Two Kyrushin and uh, 
Sea King. That's pretty good. Uh, I think we'll just start with Aqua Force down here. And I'll end the turn. Okay, so he's going middle. Alright. Alright. No power ups or anything. Uh, ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, so yeah, let's throw Aqua Dragon down here. Um, yeah, just move it forward. No need to be afraid since we got Aqua Dragon, so. Oh wow, he didn't summon at all. Round attack Blood Roth. Big mistake, buddy. Big mistake. Alright. I'm not sure how many ground attackers we have, but they can fuse air pressure can't double cannon. Alright. Take this. Burst stream. Hydro. Burst stream of destruction. <laughs> I actually like the design of a uh, ground check of McGroth. Pretty cool in my book. <laughs> oh wow, that's it. He didn't get, he didn't summon anything at all that turn. Uh, he may just be like su saving his uh, summoning stars though. Uh, speaking of that. Play two stars, we can play Kyrusha next turn, which I like. So let's go with eye armor. And in the turn. I'm gonna hold on to Aqua Chorus. Probably at least until I play one uh Kyrusha. Space Megatron. Alright, well. I think with that we won. Because uh, Aqua Aqua Dragon can move twice, right? So, this thing does have a pretty epic attack, though, from what I remember. Yeah, check it out. Cloaking. Look at that. Oh my god! And it fires his laser. Pretty epic attack, honestly, for like a level 4 monster. It's crazy. <laughs> Two-star monster, bam! Eye armor, yeah, that's that's why that card's good. And in fact, you know, you can make it a lot more powerful than I did just right there. But uh, yeah, the fact that it's two stars, I mean, you gain um, three summoning stars per turn, and uh, which means you can always play it too, which is nice. You don't have to worry too much about running out of stars or anything. So. Very good card. I'm sure it'll come in clutch later, for sure. Uh, I guess let's aim for... Bugroth or Space Megatron. Okay, Megatron it is. Autobots attack. <laughs> no, that, that's a Decepticon, right? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Megatron is a Decepticon. Oof. Man, I'm still doing pretty bad at the slots today, but... It's okay. The nice thing is we've gotten really good reincarnations, so. All right, so let's save to that. And let's switch decks here. Um, well, actually, no, 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 no. What time are we at? Yeah, let's take on, let's take on Panic again. I'm trying for the Umi card. Yeah, let's take on Panic here. And depending how long it goes, we'll, uh, hmm. 
Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because we're right about close to 10 minutes here. So, depending on how long this one goes, we'll switch to uh, uh, the plant deck on the next stool. Uh, but if this one takes about like 15 minutes or so, yeah, that'll be it for this recording session. Um, not too bad of a hand, honestly. Uh, let's go with... Yeah, because we can make Cyber Source, but I'll probably play Gold Oil, just because the revival effect's really nice. Um, go with Tears in the turn. trick. Um, let's go there, and let's summon gold oil, flip it up, alright, turn into, I'll probably switch gold oil to defense next turn, <clears throat> so, alright, alright, looks like he's setting up his usual trap combo, ooh, Kage Ningen, pretty good to have, uh, especially because of its effects. Uh, yeah, whatever damage is inflicted, the damage is redu reduced to zero. So, yeah, with Kage Ningen, you really don't have to worry too much about running into his trap cards or anything. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, yeah, no matter what happens, you know, uh, you're good. You don't take damage, so it's pretty good. Let's, uh, okay. And we'll move, we'll move tiers in there. See if we can set off some traps next turn. Or have them reveal some monsters. Ooh, that's a trap hole. That's a pretty good one. Alright. So he may keep his leader there. No, okay. Okay, that's fine. Alright, alright. Well, let's activate the acid trap hole we know about. So, there we go. Oh! Oh, we actually activated infinite dismissal. Okay. That... That works for me, because uh, that way this other Kaganingen can attack you directly, so... Uh, anything else we can do this turn? Uh, not really. Uh, let's just, um... Huh. Tell you what, I actually kind of want to feel the dark zones in front of us, uh, without risking my life points, so... So yeah, let's actually do that, let's do that, let's actually not take the damage with Kaganinga, and let's just play, yeah, let's just play Rock Ogre Grotto right here. Yeah, basically we, we just want to wall off these dark zones, so that sounds good, sounds good to me. Alright, didn't want to get too gritty there, I could have done this the 800 or the 600, but, uh, oh yeah, and there's time seal, so that, that's kind of what I was talking about, guys. So yeah, so, see, he used time seal there. But uh, yeah, if, I, if it, this was like a really powerful monster and I wanted to free it, yeah, all we would have to do is play pot the trick. We're good, you know, so. Okay, um, let's move Kage Ningen in. Um, and this is probably a trap, too. Uh, let's see. Let's actually slide Rock Ogre over. Because uh, I did draw Psychic Kappa, which basically has the same effect as Kage Ningen, so I'm not too afraid to move it in, actually. Uh, yeah, so we'll try to set off a trap of that. And I'll move here. And in the turn. Alright, this is going pretty well. So. Surprised he hasn't summoned a monster yet. Oh, there we go. Terra the Terrible. <laughs> yeah, after setting all those traps, he only plays a four-star monster? Yeah, I got a feeling he's got something a lot better lurking in the wakes. But, uh... Alright, at least we know what we're dealing with here. Oh, man! <laughs> Billy Beam attack. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's probably one for the highlight reel right there. <laughs> Out of everything... <laughs> I expected this monster to do that. I definitely didn't see that coming. I, I've never seen that attack before in this game. That's that's funny. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> he's laughing it up. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Not gonna lie. All right. 
There we go. Okay, I guess we'll set off the uh, acid trap bowl here. Yeah, so let's uh, move Psychic Cap uh, here, just, just so we can get rid of that. Definitely don't want something like Aqua Dragon walking into that. Okay. Over here, um, we have a rock on the field, so I'll keep that in mind. Uh, it's pretty good. Made of the Aqua. Okay. So let's just, uh, yeah, let's play our deck leader. Why not? Because uh, I don't think I can beat this. I mean, it does have pretty low attack at 1700. Um, well, I could fuse in the Mystical Sand. But I really don't want to fuse with Maiden of the Aqua. Yeah, because we want to rank her up. So, uh, I guess. Well, I can move this to to the yeah to the forest, and it should be safe. And I'll just back my leader out. So, all right, you're moved, Darker Swoop. Yeah. All right. Probably another trap. Oh, it needs to take him. My gold oil. Thank you. I think that'll actually, uh, I think I'll actually, uh, free our gold oil from spellbinding, I think. If I, if I remember how this works. Billy Beam. In stereo. <laughs> yeah, cause I think it, it's destruction effect to revive. I think basically it, it kind of like, you know, like a lot of revival effects, it kind of counts as it being sent to the graveyard and being brought back. So I don't think Gold Oil will be spellbound anymore, which is good. Um, let's see. Oh no, it is still infinitely spellbound. That's an interesting way that works. Hmm, good to know, good to know. Okay. Uh, let's go in with uh, Kageningen, Activated Trap. Mm -hmm. Another infinite dismissal. No problem. No problem. Alright, so let's see. We got a rock. Let's see what we draw here. Pretty good draw, if I do say so myself. Okay, so we'll move in here. And we'll summon Aqua Dragon. And we'll finally take out Terra the Terrible. Alright. And I'm going to grab a drink here real quick. thing that uses the uh, spirit spirit bomb or whatever <laughs> from what I remember let's see <laughs> yeah 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 man fiends have some pretty cool attacks in this game not gonna lie look at that it's basically a one-handed spirit bomb man that's that's crazy <laughs> Yeah, once again, Kaganingen, we don't take any damage, so... Oh man, he flexing too. This guy doesn't skip leg day. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So, yeah, he's only at 1,300. Um, let's see. I could use him to Cybersaurus, actually. Um, or... Switch it to water, he'd actually go up to 1800. <clears throat> so, hmm. Okay. Uh, let's actually. 
actually just go in here with Aqua Dragon. I know this is probably a trap, but uh, let's just go. Yeah, yeah, I figured. It's okay though. I'm okay with that because, um, uh, yeah, I still have Aqua Course in hand, right? Yes, I do. So I can, I can kind of offset the uh, damage reduction. And at the same time, um, uh, yeah, he may he may get something strong enough and think with the same type friendlies he can beat Aqua Dragon, but we might just create more uh, water terrain. Now, I guess I'll switch this to defense and call it good. All right. Okay, looks like he's going after Gold Oil there. Yeah, that's fine. Crest Clown. There are actually some uh, pretty interesting clown fusions in this game, uh, one of which is actually Soul Hunter, which is a fiend monster. I don't know if this guy can fuse into it, but uh, it would be interesting if he could. And we have... Spotlight Shower. <laughs> oh, man. Pretty funny attack. <laughs> oh doing some acrobatics there. <laughs> Alright, teleports. Very good. Yeah, that's the one thing I like about Gold Boil is that, like, uh, yeah, the AI usually will be pretty prone to attack it. And, um, yeah, yeah, as you see, then you know what you're dealing with. And then, uh, yeah, you can get some good hits at. Now, he is down to 2450. So let's see what we drew here. Um... slice it. I don't think we can finish him off this turn. Uh, one thing I can do, though, is spread a little more water and take down his crass clown. So, here you see, Key. You're the man for the job. Alright. Nice little swing there. Actually, maybe... Yeah. I'll see if Maiden of the Aqua can actually deal the f finishing blow here after this attack. Hmm, I, I, I really didn't calculate that or plan that, but, uh, yeah, since, uh, Fury Seeking changed the terrain to water, uh, maybe we can move two and, uh, finish him off. Let's see. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Crass Clown kind of tripping on the ball there. Looks like you dropped the ball. Dropped the ball. Dropped the. Alright. Um. So if I move two, ooh, almost, almost enough. Hmm. Almost want to do it. Just uh, you know, because direct attacks are good for helping your leader, but. No, I'll, I'll be disciplined. Um, you know what? You guys should do it. You know what? Screw it. I, honestly, I, I, th I think the value that we get from attacking directly, like, even if he does destroy Maiden of the Aka, which he probably will, just from direct attacking there, I think that's, that'll be, you know... It's, it seems like to me that would be more points, you know what I mean? Oh, good, he's summoned over there, so ultimately, that was, that was, you know, pretty cool, pretty cool. Basically, no, no consequence for that. Um, so I'll see if this is a trap card first with, uh, Furious Sea King. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, so, because, uh, we basically won if Aqua Dragon attacks this, so let's see if this is a trap. It is Paralyzing Potion. Yeah, uh, we actually haven't seen this from him, but this is really one of his, you know, more signature cards, along with Time Seal. Uh, yeah, check this out, Paralyzing Potion. So, yeah, renders all machines other than, uh, all monsters other than machine eternally spellbound. So, there you go. If you, that card's in the graveyard slots, go for it. It's a pretty good card. All right, we'll flip up this just to get some EXP. And, Let's not show the battle, let's just cut to the chase. And, uh, yeah. There we go. GG. Alright. 
Very good. All right. And he did leave some pretty good spells and traps in the graveyard, so let's try to get some. Uh, I think I'll aim for that Paralyzing Potion. Pretty good, yeah. And it can go in just about any deck, you know, so. All right. Ooh, missed it by a lot. Um, kind of want that card, though. Ooh, close, close. Uh, can I get it here? Yes! All right, there we go. There we go. All right. Well, guys, with that, I think that's that's pretty much going to be it for this recording session here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so we got up to 129 wins. Not too bad. Not too bad overall. Got some good reincarnations. And we got Paralyzing Potion. Let's see, is that our first one? I think it might be. Um... Uh, no, it's our second one. Okay, gotcha. That's pretty good. Um, well, yeah, I think I think we're good for time in this episode. So, um, I think the only other thing I'll do in this episode is just kind of, you know, kind of edit the deck. So, um, my phone will probably run out at some point here. But uh, yeah, I, I guess you guys can. Uh, can watch me out of the deck to end this. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. Alright. So I do want to keep this one at like $7.95 though. <clears throat> because of the... Uh, because of... Uh, yeah, yeah. We take on uh, bone sometimes with this deck. Uh, so I do remember to start this. I took out... Um, as Merit Control, and uh, I want to have Shadow of Eyes, wow. But yeah, I took out as Merit Control as well as um, Akihira. So I definitely want to work those back in if I can. Uh, control's like 20 dead cost, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, okay. So let's see here. I can't take out something around 10 dead cost to fit this, but ultimately I'll probably need something a little more. Um, I could just take out one tiers because that's basically like a straight upgrade. Uh, uh, yeah, I could do that. Uh, let's see what else we have here, though. Um, huh. Maybe I'll take out one of the grottos. How many rocks we we work with in this deck now? How many rocks? Oops. Uh, let's go back up to the twenties. I meant to hit the right stick. There we go. Okay. So how many rocks we got? Uh, one, two, three. Hmm. I, I think, well, maybe I can take out one of these. Yeah, 20 for 20. Don't have to worry about the deck cost. That seems like a good idea. Okay. This mirror control is back. And then I think the only other thing I took out of here was Akihiro. Uh, which... Yeah, let's just go by name, because I don't remember its deck cost. 31, okay. Yeah, let's see if we can work this in. 31. Um, hmm. I don't want to take out Kage Ningen or Bugroth. Of course, we don't want to take out the dragons either. Hmm, I honestly may just have to wait on Akihiran to add it back. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, because I'm not really willing to part with any of this. That's close. Uh, plus, Electric Lizard's a good thunder. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess we'll just leave Akihiran out for now. Okay. Well, let's take a look at some of the other decks. Um, yeah, because I remember we got some pretty good cards in this session. Well, I could work in Paralyzing Potion here as well. Hold up. Yeah, that could be good as well. Uh, let's look at some of the lower deck cost cards, because this is only 15. That's the good part about that. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I could switch this out for Tears of the Mermaid, honestly, because this only spell binds for one turn. This spell binds, you know, infinitely. So, <laughs> you know, it's just like, yeah, it's, that's pretty good. Um... Yeah, yeah, that's... I see no reason not to do that, so there we go. Um, okay. Alright, so let's work on some of the other decks now. And I kept this one the same deck cost, so that's good. Uh, I think I got some other... This is like the zombie deck, right? 
Okay. So it looks like I didn't get any new... Well, no. Yeah, I didn't get any new power-ups or anything. Oh, wait. No, I did. Fiend Castle. Right, right. Okay. Definitely want to add that to this deck. I don't remember if we got any other Fiend power-ups or not. Uh, but if nothing else, I do remember we got some other trap cards. So we can kind of work in Fiend Castle here. Um, as long as we stay below, like, uh, what's Rex's? 960? I think we're good on this one. Um... Plants. Speaking of that, how many plants do we have in this deck? Uh, I don't really remember. That may be something I want to work on or work toward. Oh wow, we have three job change rooms? That's pretty good. Uh, plants. Oh wow, we only have two. Wow, wow. Um, while I'm thinking about it, let's see. Um, wow. That's really bad, honestly. Wow. Yeah? Hmm. I guess next time I can reincarnate something pretty low, you know, kind of around 7 deck cost or 10, and hopefully we get, like, more Griggles, because that's... Yeah, wow. All right, all right. Back to the Fiend Castle, I guess. Um, oh, well, we have Shield and Sword. I don't remember that. Yeah, this card's actually pretty good for any deck, though, because <laughs> you can basically see what, monster, what cards are monsters, what cards are spell and traps? Because if it doesn't affect it, it's a trap or a spell card. So, yeah, pretty good card for that reason. Um, honestly, I may want to throw this on the deck as well. Because sometimes that's just helpful to know. Uh, let's see. Hmm. How many spells and traps we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 15, 16? Wow. Well, maybe not, because I am going to add Fiend Castle as well, so... Yeah, maybe I'll leave it out for now. Uh, 